guys, welcome back. This is Nina. Like, share, and subscribe. I am now going to bring you guys some more breaking news from the internet. Rachel Nichols has been completely taken off of ESPN. Again, this is breaking news. There is no clear answer as to why this happened. In the moment, I'm about to play you guys the video that kicked off this controversy in which got her and her ex-co-worker, Marie Taylor, uh, caught up in this drama where Maria ended up actually leaving. Again, I'm about to play the audio that kicked off all this drama, and then I'm going to come back with my comments. Okay, you guys, that was the audio clip that kicked off this entire hot mess a few months ago. Maria Taylor is now on NBC. Uh, the person she was talking to in that audio was one of LeBron Taylor's, I don't know if it was his publicist or somebody that works very closely with LeBron James. That's why he's pictured here. Um, there has not been any official information given some background on this however social media is saying um as of right now uh she has been just completely uh let go from espn she is not going to be hosting the jumper uh she is not going to be uh on any nba programming uh this is just i mean i can't even uh i, I can't even describe what's going on here ESPN completely uh, fumbled this entire situation. I mean, just in my opinion, um, the damage from the audio leak to Rachel's reputation, I mean, just the damage control they had to do, Maria Taylor left, didn't really accept her apology. I mean, this is just, I mean, this is just all around a mess. Uh, there is no confirmation as to what this breakdown uh, came about in like the last few hours. Um, all they're saying is that she's completely uh, gone. I don't know if it's because she was fired or she resigned. Uh, however, I don't even know if she broke her contract. Like, I don't know if she was in trying to negotiate and then the contracts failed Right now, like I said, I mean, this is just, this is just messy. Um, a lot of people are questioning what's going on with this entire situation. Uh, a lot of people are just not being supportive of this situation. Um, I do believe that she was kind of used as a scapegoat in this situation. I will definitely say that. I don't think that she was actually going after her co-worker. I think that ESPN was trying to do uh, or trying to blend in more minority voices. However, the way that they tried to approach the situation basically put Rachel Nichols in a position where it was like, hey, we got to bump you out of your job, which you were already contracted for. That's just my opinion. I'm sure there's more going on behind the scenes. If I can catch up with any more information, I'll definitely come back and do so. However, as of right now, Rachel Nichols is completely gone from ESPN. Like, share, subscribe, and be safe until next time. Bye, guys.